In today's video, I want to show you a small solar charger that I use in order to charge um, 3.7 volt lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. Now, here you can see an example of that. So it's got a small solar panel. Um, uh, these two batteries are on parallel, so it's 3.7 volt. Um, and you can see the solar charger, the small module at the back there. So I'm just going to give you a, f a little bit of detail on that. Um, it's very handy charger to use uh, for 3.7 volt when, for instance, you need a power supply for a 3.3 volt Arduino board. So let's talk a little bit about this small, uh, very inexpensive charging module. It makes use of a 4056 charging chip and you can see it there on the module. Um, then you've also got in some of these modules a protection circuit and you can see the protection circuit there. The uh, circuit protects the battery from overcharging and also from overcurrent uh, drawn from the battery. And you can easily identify these modules by, um, you will see there's uh, four connections on this right hand side of it. So the connections on the right hand side will be the battery connection here and then you'll have a load connection there. So your positive and negative of your load will be connected on the outside here and the battery on the inside. Your charging side um, is on the left side and you can either charge from, in this case you can see it's got a USB-C port on it and then you can also connect your solar um, panel directly on that point and that point positive and negative. Now an ideal solar panel, small solar panel for this is a 6 volt module uh, or so, solar panel and um, in the order of 1 watt or so is sufficient depending on the current that you draw from your battery. Um, so you can either directly from a USB supply plug it into this USB-C port and it will charge the battery. It will also um, control the voltage going to the load um, and uh, you can use that 3.7 volt output uh, to your 3.3 volt Arduino board. Um, I've used it in quite a few cases with success. So a very inexpensive charging module that you can uh, use. I also want to show you the one that do not have the uh, protection circuit in it. So in this case you can see it's only the charging chip, uh, no protection circuit. So you also only have got the battery output on the right hand side or the, where the battery is connected. And that's also your output. And on this side you've got your input either in this case USB-C or then um, from your solar module. Uh, just a few things regarding this module and you will see of course the charging chip, the 4056 charging chip, very inexpensive chip. Um, and then you've got your battery protection components, those there like I've indicated, those two components is part of your battery uh, protection circuit. Um, your USB connector can either be a USB-C or other types of USB connectors that you can uh, use as a charger uh, for that. Input is 5 volt. The 6 volt um, solar panel works well. If you go and have a look at the specs of the 4056, you'll see that it goes up to 7 volt. So a 6 volt solar module or solar panel will work great there. Um, the battery compatibility, of course, lithium ion or lithium polymer, a single cell, of course, this is a single cell charger, so um, you use it for a single uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer battery. The charge volt voltage is 4.2 volt. Uh, this charge protection, so um, this is now if your battery voltage goes below 2.5 volt, and then the protection circuit will shut off the load and the battery must then first be charged again before it will be reconnected. Uh, and then of course you've got LED indicators on it. 
two LED indicators, the red LED indicates it's charging and the green LED will then indicate that it's fully charged. Um, so overall, uh, really an extremely useful little charger, charger module um, to use with a 3.3 volt Arduino system uh, when you want to charge a 3.7 volt um, lithium polymer or lithium ion battery. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and bye bye.